Now, I have to admit that sometime before this movie was made, I was given a copy of the script to read in case I was interested in writing some additional material for it. I read it and thought that apart from a couple of really rather good speeches, there was very little of interest in it for me. The characters seemed dull and stereotyped, and the plot used as a thread on which to hang overdrawn character portraits, each character being used to represent a comment about society. The union official, the policeman, the militant extremist, the bourgeois middleman, etc. A comment expressed with the kind of heavy-handedness one would expect at a political party's Christmas pantomime. But I was wrong not to take into account the director. Lindsay Anderson has almost completely turned a piece of adolescent political fervour into an interesting and sometimes very funny parable. Wake up and do something about the world. All the characters are self-seeking, unfortunately true to life this, and even the professor of surgery played by the brilliant Graham Crowden, who has a way of saving the world by increasing its brain power, is more than prepared to kill to achieve his aims. When you watch this tape, just listen to the speech he makes after he quietens down the rioting rabble at this hospital of life. A more subtle script with a more oblique approach might have preached less to the converted, but I couldn't have wanted better or more exciting direction. So this movie, which disappointingly few people saw when it was released in Britain, but which is rapidly on its way to becoming a cult movie in the States, is a well worthwhile video. Let's have some more Lindsay. And now, after all that seriousness, I would like to squawk. <coughs> Thanks, Graham. Thank you. We recently road tested the current model of... Uh pedestrian. <coughs> Morning cold start, poor. Fuel consumption, heavy. The model needed topping up throughout the day. Road holding, fair. But in bad conditions, brakes were unreliable. And although the same model has been in production for some time now, spare parts are hard to obtain. However, the makers assure us that it is rust-proof and all essential parts should last a lifetime. But where our model really did badly was resistance to damage. All tests show that in collision with other vehicles, it always came off worst, with 27,000 each year seriously damaged or total write-offs. So we strongly recommend that when you take this model on the roads, you proceed at all times with great caution. Here I am, waiting at the crossroads. Hoping that someday I'll meet a wife. You are entering back zone by the door, please. You are entering back zone. Morning. Have an appointment, an interface. Please. Inputs deficiency. Ten thousand and two, you're late. I know. Voice I don't. Web J, an appointment. Inputs deficiency. Yes, I know. Your interface has been moved to room one zero zero five zero. You're late. I know. Web J six nine four five three two. Ah oh, yes, of course. I know, but I can explain. I'm sorry, I'm not programmed to accept explanations. You mean I can't have an overdraft? We cannot authorize I need a personal transporter for my work. It's my duty to tell you. Won't you even discuss it? An input deficiency Is there anyone I can talk here. to about an overdraft? Why can't I just talk to somebody? Do you worry that the more banks become automated, the more you'll become just a number? I think we can help you there. Take a seat. Have you thought about a Barclay loan? At Barclays, our customer service program is retraining 50,000 staff. So in our future, you'll get the expert advice and personal service you should expect. Lynn got along all right before she ever heard of the Kimberley Star. She can get along without it now. What are you talking about? Absolutely nothing, my sweet. What is going on here? I can't go to the John without tripping over a cop. I found one in the broom closet. I think he tried to look like a vacuum cleaner. Routine protection, you know the sort of trash that's attracted to a film festival. Don't hand me that bull. I just heard you say you'd give away my star. Uh, wherever did you get that idea? It's that skinny Greek broad who's going to be in your next picture. I've seen how you look at her. Well, give her ten bucks. It's more than she's worth. That's unkind to a very nice lady and beneath your dignity. 
If you're in charge of these cops, I don't know what they're here for, but get them out fast. Who are you? Uh, secretary of the local branch of the Lynn Martin fan club, madam. I'm sorry, Tony, but you'll have to tell the Greek she is out of luck. The star's in the safe in my bedroom, and I have the combination changed. I'm the only one who knows it. Lynn? The people that sent me this note have already committed three murders. Sorry, darling, I should have known you have better taste than to go for the Greek. It wasn't nice of me. So, if you'll give me the star. No chance. You silly cow. These men are monsters. They'd kill you as an object lesson. I have been getting crackpot threats since I made my first picture when I was 60. I mean 12. All right, Genoa, you can keep your army on hand, but tell them to stay out of my way. The fans will see me at the festival tomorrow. And I will be wearing the star. Why don't you get rid of that lousy mirror? AIDS has no prejudice. It doesn't just affect homosexuals. It doesn't just affect drug abusers. It could affect you, or it could affect me. Yeah, I mean, I told my brother, cool it, buster. Because, you know, he's an example of somebody who really doesn't think, he doesn't think it's going to happen to him. He doesn't think it could possibly happen to him. And there are a lot of people like that. And quite honestly, I am concerned because they're people who mean a lot to me, you know. They're, they're young people and, and they're part of my job as well and part of my life. And I just look around at young people and I don't want to see him wasted. Yeah, I think that you've got no choice in this day and age. You must, uh, you shouldn't take risks at all. Not unless you, well, not if you value your life. What a hideous way to go. I, th I think the main thing I would say to, uh, to young people now that, that are going out uh, to experiment sexually would be just think first and, uh, and talk about things. Because I know I have a lot of trouble talking about things sometimes because I was embarrassed and shy about a lot of stuff. And, and embarrassment and shyness is now going to cost lives. I think everyone sort of knows what's going on. But again, I don't think it sort of hits certain people that there is this AIDS thing going around because you always think, oh, it never will happen to me, but it can. And you've just got to be very, very careful. And you've got to trust yourself more than anyone else. Well, there's obviously a lot of agreement that it's up to us to keep AIDS at bay. Blackpool! It's exploding with nightlife. Good time emporiums always alive. Tower ballroom, a waltz or a jive. Maggie Mays, a drink and a bite. Live entertainment into the night. Dixie Disco, exciting sounds. The place to meet the hottest in town. See Cannon and Ball on stage live for a host of great stars from 325. Big star names and family fun for a great night out. I'm excited, I'm really excited. Blackpool's the number one. Doctor Who? Yes. We know that you know the Supreme Computer. What? The name, Doctor. We need the name. Why should I tell you? Turn on your monitor, Doctor. What? Don't tell them anything, Doctor. Now, we know this is an incredible communicating system. It understands all industry standard languages and has a fantastic range of software solutions. We also know you can easily increase its power. And I know that you come from Lipragopolis. Very good, Doctor. No other computer could have done that. So now we know you have one. We believe it comes from Earth in the constellation of Sol. The name, Doctor. It's a prime. Prime computer from the planet Earth. Just tell me why. We just want to buy one. Doctor. Who were those people? Oh, just some of it excited rhyme buyers. Although Mr. Patel's shop is well out of the centre of Leeds, he now draws custom from a wide catchment area. His low margins make the trip out of town worthwhile for customers and guarantee the fast turnover that's necessary to finance the stock. Success so far has allowed Mr. Patel to diversify into a do-it-yourself shop next door. 
it will be interesting to see how he markets this one. Well, we haven't missed a trick. Anything to promote your wares is all part of successful marketing. If you want to know more about marketing or any other aspect of being your own boss, then for a free information pack, write to Be Your Own Boss, Admail 12, Yorkshire Television, Leeds, LS3, 1YT. Yes, it's TSW, the sign and the symbol of independent television here in the Southwest. Your new program company, and tonight we at TSW, which we hope you will come to look upon as television simply wonderful, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't that good news? Gus is safe. That's the good news. Gus is okay. The bad news is here. Round of applause for Gus. All except you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Welcome to TSW. Have a good time. Watch us from now on. Come, folks, let's dance. <laughs> Have hold in here, actively repeat it all. I judge.